Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, <clears throat> at the outset, I would like to thank the uh, team from Purdue for uh, you know, spending their valuable time with us here. Uh, it is, uh, um, unfortunately, I couldn't attend any of the sessions except that I came for a brief period and uh, I found that you had a very interactive and lively session. I could see all the posters here. So that shows that there's been a lot of uh, interaction and uh, lively activities here. So I take this opportunity to thank the entire uh, American team here. And of course, uh, big thanks to Dr. Raju for putting to the, this program. Let's give him a big round of applause for uh, <coughs> organizing this well. And he's ably supported by a great team here. Uh, who have done a good job in coordinating. Um, so I also uh, welcome the uh, external guests to VIT. Um, you know, it's always a pleasure to host uh, professors like you uh, at VIT. Um, as was uh, pointed out by Dr. Oakes, um, you know, the service learning part, are the uh, in VIT we are moving heavily towards. Uh, curriculum uh, for applied learning where um, <coughs> projects are going to be the norm. Uh, students are going to be heavily involved in uh, project-based courses. I mean, it, it has tremendous advantages. I don't need to sell that idea to you. I'm sure you're already sold on those ideas and you're going to be the uh, evangelist, if I may, uh, for the project-based learning for the rest of the uh, faculty groups. So. Um, we have many interesting things coming up for the VIT students in the new curriculum, including the um, what we call as tech answers for real world problems. That's one of the uh, major, uh, not major projects, one of the mid projects they will be doing in the third year of their uh, curriculum. So uh, it's going to be a tough exercise uh, for us uh, because the concept, even though we have introduced earlier, we are uh, scaling it up now, so there are going to be a lot of challenges, a lot of training involved, and uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, skepticism which we'll have to overcome. Uh, and of course, there will be a lot of uh, practical difficulties, including resource constraints. I'm sure we'll surmount all those uh, challenges in the days to come. And one of the most important uh, components here is that it needs to, uh, the, the students need to make to think about the relevant problems, either relevant directly to the society or the industry. So that, that's the key objective here. Um, usually they say Indians are very strong in theory, but then not so strong when it comes to application of uh, theory. That's the thing which we need to change, I felt. Uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, we'll be there uh, with all your cooperation. I thank you very much for taking part in this workshop.